Yeah, I'm Odd and I'm from Flamingo Finance on uh, NEO. Uh, it's a DeFi platform where you can exchange uh, currencies and uh, yeah, stake assets to earn yields. Yeah, hey guys, uh, I'm Gil from Axe Labs. Um, at the moment, I'm developing uh, grant shares. So, uh, grant shares is a decentralized and transparent grant program for the, the new ecosystem um, and to foster growth um, yeah, in, in, in the new blockchain. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to share a bit more about this uh, with you guys. Cool. And why did you choose to work on the Neo blockchain? Well, I chose because back in the days, on 2018, I've seen um, the lack of, um, it, it was, New was not the best chain for developer experience. So like, um, I felt some opportunity on, on, on putting my hands there and my, my power on developing tools, uh, um, fostering the community, the developer community to, to develop dApps and, and, and to create things uh, on Neo. Um, I think that Neo has a very good community and uh, that's one of the reasons uh, that it absorbed me naturally uh, without um, me like being active and it just happened. So uh, that's one of the reasons why, why I joined. It's more like I didn't choose Neo. Neo chose me. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. yeah that's, <laughs> no, that's but great. it was like we we did some research. We wanted to work uh, on a blockchain instead of like trading. So we did a lot of research on all the different like chains out there. What they had, what was built in, what was coming, and we found Neo. And we was like thinking, ah, oh, ten years from now, this is really cool. But we joined their community. Really friendly people. Yeah. They showed us like, yeah, but this is coming like a couple of months from now. And we were really impressed. So we just started working on the Neo blockchain from day one because yeah. no other blockchain can deliver this kind of functionality for a developer. Absolutely. So, yeah, that was actually going to be my next question. Saying that what makes Neo so great? Yeah, <laughs> just answer it. But like, you have everything in one blockchain. Mm -hmm. You have good consensus mechanisms. And so, so with blockchain you always have this speed versus uh, versus decentralization security. yeah and security so but i feel that neo has chosen the perfect path where you have like 21 nodes that you vote for and you can just shift your vote every 15 seconds if you feel that one node won't like apply to the ledger so yeah it's really simple it's the, it's the best of both worlds yeah yeah, like I mean, I would, I, would, uh, I agree, hundred percent. It's just that um, it's one stop shop. You have like the stuff. You have the oracles. You have like the the the, the built in uh, decentralized storage uh, on UFS. You have a best class uh, uh, developer experience in, with uh, several programming languages uh, that you don't need to learn a new thing to to deploy your dApp. So it's um, it's very cozy and comfortable for developers. Uh, but I mean, I'll go a bit beyond in terms of decentralization and, and sub, uh, there are some chains that decided to go first fully, completely proof of work and decentralized like, you know, uh, like Ethereum. Um, and then now they're going towards a proof of stake. What, when you see Neo, they took exactly the opposite direction. They started as proof of stake with, um, let's say, DBFT, um, and then they're going towards the centralization of their assets, of their stake in the chain. So this is pretty interesting because what we're trying to achieve now is uh, is kind of not the opposite, but going to a different direction that Ethereum chose um, since the beginning. So it's, uh, I'm glad that you mentioned the oracles because I was talking to Lily about that and she wasn't really able to kind of um, give me any sort of real answers because one of my questions was does having an inbuilt oracle help against potential sort of oracle exploitations that we've seen on other chains? That depends all on the source of the oracle of course. Uh, if if we agree on an API to use for data because with Neo you can like choose what kind of API you want to have for the oracles. Uh, yeah, you need to trust what this source, that's all. So, you need to be agreeing with the contract and the developers that this source we can trust it's a third party let's say a weather service we trust this weather service to give the correct information uh, and that is fine but of course if you use your own api <laughs> and you can serve up your own data as it suits you but that's the issue for all oracles if you go and ask someone that i can decide then it's up to me what kind of information you will get yeah i mean i, I yeah it's just 
there is trash in, trash out, uh, yeah. if you provide like a better API, you know. But um, what you can make sure is that the consensus of the results of these oracles, it's ensured by new blockchain. And that's the important part. I mean, if there's no consensus of the results of uh, these APIs, then it's it is false. not going to be accepted. Yeah. It's false. So, um, and this consensus is, is built uh, for, the, for oracles built, um, on chain. You, uh, and most importantly, using uh, gas. And, uh, you know, we don't have uh, a third part service like you know, Chainlink or something that is outside that has its own coin uh, to, 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 you know, to, to, to make all these requests and to pay for the fees. It's using gas in our, uh, uh, you know, in, 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 in the new blockchain layer. Okay. So it still depends on the source, is what you're saying. So it adds some extra protection to say. So how, how, how would you say, other than what you've already said, it would be different to say working on Ethereum and using Chainlink? as the source of the Oracle, of the Oracle. I think like with Chainlink, it's already pre-built what kind of Oracles you can use. Yeah. So of course that's safe, but then again, it's limited because then you have to trust Chainlink's Oracles and you can only use the data that they provide you. So with Neo Oracles, you're able to use the data that you need to actually do the smart contract, like let's say weather, like the temperature today or tomorrow. If Chainlink doesn't support that, you can't do it. But on Neo, you still can, and you can like have consensus with the users that we agree that weather.com is the best provider for this weather data, and then the Oracle or the nodes will need to reach a consensus that the result is the same for everyone. So you cannot tamper with the result for one of the nodes. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, could you do things like aggregating data as well to make it potentially more secure? It's the, it depends on the API again, so it's always the source, like who, do you, who, who did you get the information from? Mm -hmm. That's like... Well, that's what I'm saying, could you then aggregate it through the blockchain and the Neo Oracle so that you're then not just trusting one source, you're trusting multiple? That's, that's you, you can do it, but then yeah. you will, will have to make an API that aggregates that data for you. And, but then again, you have just like one request, one answer you need, that answer to be the same for from all sources, yeah. else it will fail. Yeah. yeah, I mean, or another alternative to, to answering exactly your question is, maybe you could do, in a method of his smart contract, you could, you could uh, fetch from multiple APIs and aggregate in the contract itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like, um, let, let's suppose that um, I, I, I get some data from uh, Kraken and like some other data from Coinbase or like diff different sources. Uh, so uh, for each of the results from these APIs, it will have a consensus of the results. But then inside this, the, the, the method of this smart contract, what it could do is could do an average or uh, do some uh, outliers, uh, filtering some outliers and this kind of stuff, um, which is totally feasible. But I mean, again, this is, I think the most valuable part is if you're trusting already your your neo uh, the governance model um, neo as uh, the validators and the consensus uh, for uh, your storage data for for your smart contracts, you should I think uh, trusting um, this this consensus in the Oracle layer is natural. You know, it's it's the same. is 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 kind of tightly coupled. So I think this is, this is an advantage in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. As, as you're saying, if you trust the platform then there's no reason for you to like, I don't trust the Oracle. Because if you use, let's say, Flamingo Finance and you connect your wallet and you trust the platform there, it's like, if you, if you don't trust one thing, then you shouldn't trust anything. Yeah, because there's so many places you could get exploited. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, mean, I think it's exactly what you also suggested there that I was thinking, that just having like an outlier catch, so that when you've had these exploits, a lot of them is because there's been an outlier into the data and they've done it through a, um, Um, a flash loan. Yeah, yeah. So being able to protect against flash loans of like exploits by just checking as long as it's within the yeah. limit of a scope that you prepare, it's something yeah. you can do through the consensus on Neo. Yeah, as you said, like you can run as many requests you want to different services and then you can combine them or you sure. can do an average or you can do a top and yeah, high and low and yeah. So what's the best thing about Neo? The same way it's great, but what's the absolute best thing about Neo? Uh, for me, it's really simple to make smart solutions, simple solutions, one-click solutions. If you want people to start to use blockchain, you need to take blockchain out of the equation because blockchain isn't sexy, blockchain isn't for like the day-to-day -day user. 
but you can have block blockchain in the bottom layer as the security. But for the everyday user, it needs to be simple, it needs to be fast, and it needs to be cheap. So like on Flamingo, you have a one-click solution to stake assets, where on other uh, DeFi platforms, you would need like three, four, five operations to come to the same place. And it costs you maybe a dollar to do it. On other chains, it can be like $450 to do it. So I think like that's the best with Neo. You have 15 seconds block time. Yeah. You have like this insanely speed. So, yeah, I, I, I have I have to agree. Like I have to take off my my developers engineering uh, kind of hat now. And as a user, man, you just open your new line wallet, you just send button in your transaction. I would just want to make this transaction done, done. It's 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 there. It's in the block. It's the next block, and you can you can rely on it. Uh, so um, I think this this agility when you have um, compared to MetaMask or you use uh, like other other chains. This is massive, in my opinion, so is it as a user. So like, is say, like a, a framework in Web2 then? It kind of sounds like it's kind of pre-building some bits that you'd usually use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, I would say, yeah. I would say it is, you have like some building blocks, mm -hmm. and then you have to to use them in your smart contract. And uh, of course, there are um, building blocks um, as smart contracts that you can call. Uh, for example, to update your smart contract, etc. But there are building blocks outside of the, the, um, like, uh, for example, a new line um, wallets um, as a Chrome uh, plugins uh, in this stuff. So, if you put all together, yes, it's it's kind of if you're doing Golang or um, Spring Boot uh, or Kotlin, you know, in the Web two, that you just take several libraries, plug them together, and achieve something. But it's, it's just like that. It's yeah. just like you, you just install the package and you just use the methods from those packages and then you're done making smart contracts. So it takes me less time to make smart contracts than making backends that I used to build. Yeah. So now I usually tend to just deploy smart contracts and use them as a backend instead of running my own server with a backend on it. Exactly. Yeah, it's much simpler. <laughs> so is it, is it like cloud hosting plus GitHub? Yeah. Web3? Yeah. It's like all all in one, basically, for yeah. a developer. So what's the documentation like? I know that's one of the big headaches for a lot of developers. Yeah, for me, I feel like the docs, uh, I've done a lot of Python coding, so the docs could be better. It's it's good, it's really good, but what Neo has is insane community. You can go into the Discord server, you can ask a question, and before you're done typing and hitting enter, you have the answer there. It's like, there's yeah. some, and they have like some really smart people always there to help you to build what you're going to, going to build and it's really friendly that's what I like you can go go into other crypto communities and you can ask questions <laughs> and if you ask questions <laughs> you get really trashed <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but going to Neo is it, yeah. it's a pleasure I mean it was to be honest Liam it was not always like this it we evolved over time and like to reach the point where we are now in terms of documentation as a community it took a while I mean I'm I don't say that it's all like roses and beautiful things. It's uh, we had to to suffer a bit during these years on building the best uh, dev tooling experience, including documentation. But uh, I think I, I'm happy with the results that we achieved. So now, now the the lame question: Do you feel Neil's prepared for a bear market? Man, honestly, I, f I feel. You know why? Because I, I <laughs> is it. I know there is a bit of feelings. Um, sometimes you have to, to take care. We are really into the community and uh, this place, we're a bit biased in the sense. But uh, man, in the top 100 uh, coin market cap, uh, just the strong ones who survive. The ones that we were talking before with Odd, that uh, the ones that build th solid things from in the past will, will survive this bear market. So I'm confident that technically, and the solutions that we've built, I, I think we're going to survive. Yeah, I, I'm, a conf I'm confident. Yeah, I'm really confident. That, that's why we found Neo. We were searching for the thing that would survive a bear market, that would have the technology, because yeah. it's really simple. When the bubble bursts, it's only the people that have the real tech, the real, because that's the value. Yes. The value that's created is the technology. And if you're saying that you're going to create it, that's no value. Saying we're going to get this, we're going to get that. It's really simple for me to say, I will build a spaceship. But <laughs> building a spaceship is really hard. So until I build it, I have no value. 
So if a bear market hits me while I say I'm going to do it or while I'm doing it, it's really hard because it's just a half finished project. But NEO is like the tech is there, everything's ready, everything's done. It will survive a bear market really well. Yeah. yeah. So, so here's a question then. So I've written before on, and loads of people have, I guess, on us being in a similar place with Web3 that we were with the internet, mid 90s, like dot com bubble. At that point, you had like Alta Vista, AOL, Lycos, were all the big companies. Where are they today? Google wasn't even around when the dot com bubble crashed. So my logic is that as big as Bitcoin is, there is a th there is a possibility that the future of blockchain and Web3 either doesn't exist yet or isn't number one yet. The question is, do you think Neo has the potential to actually be the center of blockchain in the future? And if so, would it need to make any changes to get there? Of course, I'm biased <laughs> building on Neo, but but yeah, of course, I wouldn't be here if I didn't believe that. Well, no, because I think you, I think you would. I think it's absolutely fine to think that it will be a top ten project. Yeah. yeah. But the question is, is could it be what Google was to come out of nowhere and take over the whole space? Yeah, if you look at the technology, there's no problem to do that. It has the capabilities to do it. It has the the basically foundation to build upon to do that. It's it's here now. Like people have been waiting for uh, myself, been waiting for Ethereum 2.0 since 2017. I got tired of waiting, and I found Neo. And I was like, oh damn, they have it all, so why not just jump there? And I think when more developers see that and they can just jump in with their Python experience, Java experience, JavaScript experience, whatever, they don't need to learn something, then you get the dApps and then you get the users. It's really simple. You cannot, like, why should we have three million users on Neo if we don't have any apps there? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, buy Neo and just hold it. <laughs> you need to do something. You need to create the value, and, and we're getting like a, a couple, really many now good D apps with a lot of value to the chain. Yes, yes. Um, okay, I'll complement uh, this question, like in my point of view, um, this answer in my point of view. Um, I think like Neo has a, a great presence gl globally. Like, uh, I mean, we have communities all around, like Brazil, in the United States, in Europe, like in, in, in Asia. Uh, and, and I think like people matter on, on, on when, when, when you have, when you're building something, not only technically, but uh, if we, if I believe that one day new will will go to the real, really top, and maybe uh, together with a couple of other chains, uh, like because you mentioned Google or Facebook, but nowadays we have Funk, we have like Google, we have Netflix, we have uh, a set of companies that drive the Web two market, so. I think like it would be more or less the same with with blockchain. You know, I mean, if I ask you today, what is the largest driver in the web two? I mean, maybe you're gonna answer like Amazon. Maybe you're gonna answer like Google. I, I mean, you have like a like a set of like five or or six. I believe that Ni will be one of this um, on the top, dictating technology and community in the future. Yeah.